Historic Cragmont, also known as the Clark Thompson House, sits on a terrace overlooking the Columbia River immediately east of downtown Cascade Locks. The house was constructed in 1906 by architect P.M. Hall Lewis, commissioned by Jesse and Clark Thompson. The home was originally built with 25 rooms, and the integrity of the exterior of the house is retained almost in its entirety. The house is rectangular in plan, with an open porch that spans 39 feet across the front elevation. It is a three-story residence with a partial 500 square foot basement. All of the windows in the dormers are original except for one. The ground floor is covered with 10 inch shiplap siding. The south elevation consists of three entrances and a balcony. The porch associated with the center door has a pedimented gable. Below the second floor balcony is the entrance into the original kitchen. Cragmont reflects the essence of the arts and crafts style with stained board and battened wainscoting. Exposed ceiling beams, wood floors, stained simple 9.5 inch baseboards, and built-in furniture. Craigmont was designed as a 25 room house including a library, study, living room, dining room, 10 bedrooms, 10 fireplaces, and 4 bathrooms along with a nursery, schoolroom, and large play area on the third floor. Douglas fir floorboards were used throughout the main living areas. The walls are made of lath and plaster. In 1951, the house was adapted into apartments after having been used for years as a hotel and boarding house. Despite the adaptation, the house still maintains most of its original character. The reconfiguration to apartment use was accomplished by the insertion of new partitions rather than the removal of existing structures. The formal entrance to the house enters into the hallway and faces a staircase leading up to the second floor. Originally, the entryway opened into the living room now that space has been partitioned into one-third the original size. The remaining portion of what was originally the living room became two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a hallway leading into the library. The fireplace in the original library, now used as an apartment living room, has been refaced with tile, though the Douglas fir mantle was not altered. The rear guest bedroom on the southwest corner of the house has been remodeled into a spacious kitchen with a laundry room beyond. Moving to the east apartment, the former dining room remains the same as when first built, featuring a fireplace and built-in bench, though it now serves as a living room. The adjoining study is now utilized as a bedroom, with a substantial pocket door still in use. The former pantry has been converted to a bathroom and also opens up into a short hall connecting to the kitchen. Through the expansive original kitchen is the former servant's dining area, now used as a bedroom. Three apartments now occupy the second floor. These three apartments were created by the blocking of hallways and moving doorways to preserve as much of the original design as possible. Apartment number three features a 221 square foot balcony overlooking the grounds, one bedroom, and a living room. In apartment number four, the former nursery is currently used as a bedroom. The former linen closet has been converted into a bathroom, and the bedroom beyond has been remodeled into a spacious kitchen. The former schoolroom still features a fireplace with the original mantle, though since refaced. The remaining bedroom is as originally planned. Moving to what is now apartment number five, we see the former master bedroom, now used as a front room. The walk-in closet provides an open space with an original bedroom beyond. On the opposite side of the current front room is a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. The third floor has been closed off for some time, though originally contained two bedrooms for servants, a bathroom, storage areas, and an extensive play area. For more information or to make an appointment to view this property, contact Liz Carpenter by phone or by email.